How beautiful you are, O Virgin of Christ, who are worthy to receive the Lord's crown, the crown of perpetual virginity. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. And therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who desired the Virgin, Saint Kateri Tekoitha, to flower among Native Americans in a life of innocence, grant through her intercession that when all are gathered into your church from every nation and tribe and tongue, they may magnify you in a single canticle of praise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. In the days of King Ahaz, king of Judah, son of Jotham, son of Uzziah, Arizan, king of Aram, and Pekah, king of Israel, the son of Ramalia, went up to attack Jerusalem, but they were not able to capture it. When word came to the house of David that Aram was encamped in Ephraim, the heart of the king and the heart of the people trembled as the trees of the forest tremble in the wind. Then the Lord said to Isaiah, Go out to meet Ahaz, you and your son, the Shear Yashub, at the end of the conduit of the upper pool, on the highway of the fuller's field, and say to him, Take care, you remain tranquil, and do not fear. Let not your courage fail. Before these two stumps of smoldering brands, the blazing anger of Rezin and the Arameans, and of the son of Mermalia, because of the mischief that Aram, Ephraim, and the son of Ramalia plots against you, saying, Let us go up and tear Judah asunder, make it our own by force, and appoint the son of Tabeel king there. Thus says the Lord, This shall not stand, it shall not be. Damascus is the capital of Aram, and Rezin is the head of Damascus. Samaria is the capital of Ephraim, and Ramalia's son, the head of Samaria. But within sixty years and five, Ephraim shall be crushed, no longer a nation. Unless your faith is firm, you shall not be firm. The word of the Lord. God upholds his city forever. Great is the Lord and holy to be praised in the city of our God. His holy mountain, fairest of heights, is the joy of all the earth. Mount Zion, the recesses of the north, is the city of the great king. God is with her castles. Renowned is he as a stronghold. For lo, the kings assemble. They come on together. They also see and at once are stunned, terrified, routed. Quaking seizes them there, anguish like a woman's in labor, as though a wind from the east were shattering ships of Tarshish. Alleluia, alleluia. 
If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus began to reproach the towns where most of his mighty deeds had been done since they had not repented. Woe to you, Chorazin! Woe to you, Bethsaida! For if the mighty deeds done in your midst had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would long ago have repented in sackcloth and ashes. But I tell you, it will be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon on the day of judgment than for you. And as for you, Capernaum, will you be exalted to heaven? You will go down to the netherworld. For if the mighty deeds done in your midst had been done in, so in Sodom, it would have remained until this day. But I tell you, it will be more tolerable for the land of Sodom on the day of judgment than for you. The Gospel of the Lord. It's good to think about for a moment the mighty deeds that were performed in order for us to uh, hear better um, Jesus' condemnation against the towns that had witnessed them. So what were they, those mighty deeds? They were miraculous healings. You might recall how a leper, um, lepers were cleansed, or how uh, those who were blind were made able to see. Um, there was a paralytic, uh, as we recall, who was uh, led into the town of Capernaum, and uh, the friends of the, the paralytic even broke through a roof to get to Jesus, and he was healed, able to walk once again, his sins forgiven. More than that, there, there was also uh, evidences of, of resurrection stories uh, as Jesus healed those uh, even who had died, bringing them back to life. Then there was the spiritual dimension, casting out demons that had uh, possessed uh, uh, men and women in various places. So these are some of the mighty deeds that had been witnessed in these towns. And yet, Jesus had said their hearts had not repented. They had not turned toward God and following his ways. So, my friends, uh, we hear these stories. Um, we've heard the accounts. And one thing that we should strive to do is look for ways in which mighty deeds uh, are continually done. Um, what are some ways that the Lord uh, has reached to you? What are some ways that mighty deeds have been done in your life or of a life of somebody you know? Uh, and when you think about some of those uh, mighty deeds or mir miracles that we sometimes call them, um, whether they be a small miracle or something larger, um, those are always good causes for us to turn back to the Lord and strive to walk in his ways. Uh, our saint today, Saint Kateri Tekawitha, I was a, a, a Native American, an indigenous person to the, uh, uh, this continent, um, and she was uh, of the uh, Iroquois people, sometimes called the Mohawks. And uh, the Mohawks, as a people, were very um, opposed um, to Christianity at first. They were a warring tribe, um, and their uh, neighbors, the Algonquins, um, many of them, uh, embraced the Christian faith. They embraced uh, Catholicism and Christianity. And um, the Algonquin nation and the uh, Iroquois nations, um, these were in the northern part of New York, um, also the southern part of Canada, all along the Great Lakes chain, um, Montreal and, and the like. And um, so uh, at certain points, uh, Katiri, uh, who had been the daughter of one of the Iroquois chieftains, uh, her father had, had perished in, in a battle, and uh, her uncle raised her. Uh, she herself, um, she suffered from smallpox as a young child, 
which had left her somewhat disfigured in, her, uh, in some respects. Um, but at a certain point, she embraced uh, the faith because of a treaty that the um, Iroquois had with uh, the French. Um, wherever there were uh, Christian slaves among the uh, Iroquois peoples, uh, that allowed the black robes, that would be the Jesuit priests and evangelizers and missionaries, uh, to be in their uh, villages and, and places. And so even though many of the Mohawks were um, not very receptive to the Christian missionaries and the Jesuits, nevertheless they, by treaty, had to allow them present to minister to the needs of those who had converted, whether they be the Algonquin slaves um, you see the uh, Iroquois being a warring tribe. Um, when they conquered the Algonquins, uh, they often took slaves. Um, but uh, in any event, the one genius of our faith, as we see witnessed in someone like St. Kateri Tekoitha, uh, is that every single person, whatever tribe, language, or tongue, uh, is uh, worthy of the gospel, worthy of the good news, worthy of Christianity, worthy of being a member of the church. And so this Lily of the Mohawks, she herself converted uh, to the witness of the Algonquin Christians, and uh, she became uh, Catholic and was baptized as a teenager, probably about the age of 19. She took her, uh, for her confirmation saint uh, and, a new, and her baptismal name, uh, uh, the name uh, Catherine, after Catherine of Siena from which was uh, translated into the uh, Mohawk tongue as Katiri, uh, Katiri Tekoitha. When she became Catholic, it did cost her. She uh, uh, no longer would work on Sunday, the Lord's Day, and therefore her uncle, even though he was a chieftain, started to treat her like the rest of the uh, Algonquin uh, Christian slaves that they had held. Uh, she would flee from uh, her place, uh, her tribe, and go to um, a Christian mission uh, near Montreal, uh, and it was called uh, Sioux uh, Saint Louis. And there she would live out her days. Um, she and another Algonquin Christian woman, who was somewhat of a spiritual mother to her, had wanted to actually form a religious order, uh, though they were dissuaded from doing so uh, by some other uh, preachers uh, in the area. And so they lived an ordinary life, um, but they did so with heroic virtue. St. Kateri is known for her prayerful life, for her mortifications, which she willfully took, uh, undertook uh, for the conversion of her people. Uh, she died at a young age, about the age of 23 or 24, but she was confirmly, confirmly rooted in the idea that her virginity was a gift that she made to Christ, and she felt that Christ was as her spouse. Uh, we learn much from, uh, from her peace and her prayerful ways, and we call her today the Lily of the Mohawks. Uh, her sanctity uh, and has flowered, and through her prayers, uh, we pray uh, for the many nations that are resident in, these, uh, in this North American continent, that through her intercession, they would embrace the gospel of Christ, which is, of course, a universal brotherhood. Uh, those redeemed by, by the Lord, those who are made sons and daughters of our Heavenly Father, we pray for her intercession for all of us in these days. Formed out by God's holy word, let us turn to him in faithful prayer. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, Archbishop Bernard Hebda, his auxiliary bishop Andrew Cousins, and all who guide the church, let us pray to the Lord. For peace in our world, especially in our own land, uh, let us pray to the Lord. For an end to abortion, and for the respect of each and every human life made in the image and likeness of God, let us pray to the Lord. For the protection of our city's police officers and firefighters who protect us, may the Lord grant them safety as they protect our communities. Let us pray to the Lord. 
For those who are seeking employment, that they may have their needs met, let us pray to the Lord. For the continuing work of those scientists seeking cures for the coronavirus, let us pray to the Lord. For the homebound, the lonely, and those recovering from illness or surgery, may they know the healing presence of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. For Robert Lanier Sr., for whom this Mass is offered, let us pray to the Lord. O God, who show the light of your truth to those who go astray, so that they may return to the right path. Give all who for the faith they profess are accounted Christians the hope of answer to their prayers and the grace to reject whatever is contrary to the name of Christ and to strive after all that does it honor through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we proclaim your wonders, O Lord, in the Virgin, blessed Katiri Tekoitha, we humbly implore your majesty that as her merits are pleasing to you, so too our dutiful service may find favor in your sight, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, for in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. 
Christ. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For in the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with this Holy Spirit may become one body one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all with Saint Kertiri Tekuitha, and with all the saints, and whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and ch charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Bernard, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, 
graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. And may this meaning of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us when we receive it. May we receive the meaning of the body, blood, and Lord Jesus Christ not bring me through judgment and condemnation, but through your loving mercy be for me protection, mind and body, and a healing remedy. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you, as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Body of Christ. 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 Amen. 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 Body of Christ. Body of Christ. The body of Christ. The 
body of Christ. There is one thing I ask of the Lord, only this do I seek, to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. Let us pray. Renewed by partaking of this divine gift, we pray, O Lord, our God, that by the example of blessed Kateri Tekoitha, bearing in our body the death of Jesus, we may strive to hold fast to you alone, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended.